I'm here with Craig uh, from Rare Bird Brewing Company out of Guysboro, Nova Scotia. Now, Craig, uh, got, uh, Rare Bird kind of went in and uh, brought jobs to a community that was otherwise kind of failing. So, or not failing, but just typical Nova Scotia community where it just was jobs were leaving the community, young people were leaving. Um, you kind of reversed the trend. Uh, how does that make you feel, or how does Rare Bird feel about that? Uh, I think uh, we're the authentic Seacoast uh, distilling and brewing company, and uh, like much of rural Nova Scotia, there's a lot of small towns that are struggling. Um, hats off to our owner, Glenn Williams. Um, he's brought a lot of jobs back into the community, and uh, we're quite proud of it. That's great. It's a, it's a very great success story. Um, much more success to you guys. Thank you so much. Uh, I mean, we're proud of all our products. Uh, like I say, we've got the distillery, we've got our craft beer. Uh, we also have a coffee company, so uh, we're hoping to bring more and more to uh, Guysboro. And uh, I'll be waiting for you to bring it. Thanks. Absolutely. I'm here with Les Barr, our owner of Roofhound Brewing outside of Digby, Nova Scotia. So you may recognize him from Master Chef. Les, uh, you opened yourself as a food and kind of entertainment venue outside of Digby. Uh, why did you do that? Well, it will be new in like a small market. It's really hard to, to make a go of it with uh, wholesale kegs and just samples. We knew we had to have pints. In order to have pints, you got to have food with the current uh, Nova Scotia laws. So that's what we just worked at, and uh, it's it's working out for us. Kind of like kind of like a brew pub, but able to sell the wholesale kegs as well. So uh, uh, probably a good 50% of our product is consumed and sold right in our own tap room and restaurant. And, that helps with the bottom line for sure. That's awesome. I know uh, all, if you don't follow him on Instagram, you have to get online because his food is unreal. So if you're in the Digby area, make sure you check out Roofhound Brewing. Thanks, Les. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks. I'm here with uh, Campbell from Meander River Farm and Brewery, and they have this beautiful piece of property where they farm and they, there's a brewery. How do you think that fits into the Nova Scotia culture? I think it fits in really well. I think there's a big movement to drinking local, eating local. Um, so I think the farm really works well with that. Um, not only does it provide a whole other experience, but it provides a farm and farm to glass kind of experience for the drinker, but also um, the family that comes along with them, the wives, the, the husbands that may not drink beer, there's always something for them to do. And obviously the cider as well. So. Lots going on in the industry, but lots being done outside of the city, which is great to get people out of the city as well. It is. It's really great. So thanks for all you do, and uh, we'll see you soon. Here with Peter Burbridge, owner of North Brewing. And Peter, you've continually evolved and found new partnerships with your, with your beer and your brewing company. Uh, how important do you feel that is to your business model? Yeah, I think it's something we talk about a lot. It's, um, you know, our business is really, like, uh, community-minded. We like working with different people uh, within the province. Like, uh, you know, we do stuff with Benjamin Bridge. We try to collaborate with, you know, as many different breweries as we can. Uh, you know, we opened up Battery Park to, to be, like, a, you know, a beacon of Nova Scotia craft beer and to, you know, be able to buy beer from all of our friends and get to try everything. So, uh, yeah, we're very, like, community kind of collaborative focused, and that's, uh, you know, I think that's the way we'll continue to operate, yeah. That's awesome. I really, really enjoy your beers, Peter, and uh, look forward to what you're going to come out with this year and all the new partnerships. Awesome, yeah. Thanks, Todd. I appreciate it. Thanks, Peter. I'm here with Jeff, one of the co-owners of Heritage Brewing in Yarmouth, Nova Scotia. They've been open less than a year, and they're already expanding. Jeff, did you ever kind of expect this kind of success in the market in Yarmouth? No, we had uh, a three-year plan in our current location and that got blown up in about three weeks. We knew that we had to do something different. Uh, our local support has been far surpassed anything that we could have dreamed of. And it's, our local support alone is enough to warrant uh, a much bigger location. And trying to get out to Nova Scotia as a whole is gonna really uh, lead, to, lead to bigger and better things, hopefully for us. That's awesome, so glad for your success. And uh, Yarmouth needs some real successes, so. Uh, hopefully on the back of you, maybe there'll be even more. We really hope so. Um, our community is important to us. They've supported us and we want, we love supporting our community in any way we can. Awesome, thanks so much, Jeff. All right, thank you very much. Have a great day.
I'm here with Eric, who helps brew at uh, Patty's. Now, Patty's has been around for a very long time, one of the original kind of craft brewers in the province. So how does that feel to work out of one of the original ones? And how does the community support you guys? Uh, well, it's exciting for me to learn brewing at an established brewery in Wolfville, where we have a good fan base. People are really familiar with our styles. But um, we're also always brewing new features and excited to try those new recipes. And our, our supporters have been really receptive to that as well. Awesome. As, the, yeah. as brewing has grown in the province, it's only, it's only helped us keep, um, keep experimenting and keep making something fresh and fun. That's great. So check them out if you're in the Wolfville or Kentville area. I'm here with Al, one of the co-owners of Off Track Brewing that opened the first craft brewery to open in Bedford. And I uh, just want to ask him how the community support's been for him since he opened. It's been amazing, uh, especially in Bedford. The whole community has been phenomenal. Everyone's coming out, uh, lots of people in the neighborhood, uh, lots of repeat business. It's been really, really good. That's awesome. I know I was out there shortly after they opened and their, their peanut butter porter's outstanding. So if you're on the Waverly Road in Bedford, go check these guys out. <laughs>